I'm adding an element to my rabbit chicken compost carport system. So that is quite a mouthful, rabbit chicken compost carport system. However, I'm trying to get every element that I'm doing inside of it. I'm trying to turn all these grass clippings and these wood chips, some of the waste from stuff in the house, turn all that stuff into compost that I can use in the garden. Really rich, really fertile, and broken down stuff. The rabbits are dropping their manure in it, which is making it very valuable. The chickens are stirring it up, and they're dropping their manure in it, which is making it very valuable. But I want to show you what I have to do in order to uh, do my part of it because the chickens can only scratch so far and so deep uh, I've got to help a little bit and I want to try to eliminate some more of that work so I can be as lazy as possible let me show you what I have to do all the time so what I do is I'll move it from this direction over here this is stuff I've already moved it was in a big pile over here and I'd moved it uh, but I've got to continue to move it over and stir it up a little bit because all that good stuff down at the bottom has some things in there that chickens like to eat. There's some uh, some grain under there, some sprouted grain, some things like that. And then there's you know bugs and other stuff in there as well. They're eating that stuff and they're stirring it. It's very nutritious for them. Uh, plus I'm giving them some grain. I'm giving them some yard clippings. I want to give them some stuff from the high tunnel and from the garden. Then I can put all the residue and the stuff that they make from it, the compost, back on the garden. And that's going to provide some nutrition for the plants and for the soil. I do this and it ends Ends up getting stacked really high and I do it down at the other end as well but we happen to have on the homestead an animal that loves to dig and that can turn that for me and maybe you've already seen it in the background it's a pig so we have mangalitsa pigs, then we have these mini pigs as well. This one's name is Pepper. I was planning on butchering all these mini pigs sometime soon. A uh, beautiful thing about the mini pigs, if you want to butcher them, is that they'll fit into a freezer. So you can do that in the middle of the summertime. They'll fit into a cooler with some ice. So you don't have to be restrained to do it to the winter time. Whereas the mangalitsas, unless you've got a cold room, unless you've got a walk-in refrigerator, then you kind of got to do that in the you know cold time of the year. You know, hog killing weather. But this is is a pepper and she loves it in here one of the signs that they're happy apparently is their tail you know wagging back and forth and she's been doing that she's just been in here eating and digging and she hasn't attacked the chickens at all the chickens got really scared about her whenever she first got in here they would just they were freaking out man she stayed the night in here last night that was the first night put her in here yesterday and actually in the middle of the night the dogs woke us up we have a few great pyrenees and the great pyrenees and the neighborhood dog that I've mentioned to you before, Schmitty, uh, woke us up. I woke up our dog in the house, our giant schnauzer, because something was wrong. There's not supposed to be a pig in here. So uh, I had to get up in the middle of the night, and this is right next to the house. I had to get up in the middle of the night and tell the dogs that it was fine. And as soon as I did, I said, she's supposed to be in there. It's fine. They dispersed. It was pretty amazing how intuitive Pyrenees are. Uh, but this is Pepper. She's really content. She's getting all the food that she wants because uh, there's some grain in here. Here's a piece of corn. Also, I give the chickens some sunflower seeds. Uh, and then I give them all these yard clippings. These are kind of hot, by the way. It's working pretty well because the chickens roost right here. This is their roost. Their droppings just fall right here. A lot of our pigs, you know, aren't very friendly. Uh, they, uh, but this one is. So uh, she's kind of got a reprieve from butchering. We're giving her a different job on the homestead. It's not going to be my rabbit chicken compost carport system anymore because there's a pig in it. But I'm not going to say rabbit chicken pig compost carport. That's just getting too much. So it's just my compost system from now on. Anyway. I anyway, uh, just wanted to tell you about that. She hasn't really pushed on the edges very much. She hasn't turned the water over. She hasn't been any problem in here. She's been really quite pleasant. The chickens are getting used to her some, and I think they'll get used to her even more. Uh, in fact, she was... In fact, she was asleep yesterday and I came over here and one of the chickens pecked on her. I just want to tell you what we have going on here. If you like things like this, then like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Select all so you never miss a notification. Thanks.